you know I'm excited. I'm excited to talk about scarves. And if you're a scarf lady like me, you're probably pretty darn excited too. Let's talk about head scarves for summer. You know, those places where it's so windy, your hair is going in your face, sticking in your lip gloss. It's not fun, but guess what it is? A head scarf. I've picked out all of these lovely scarves from my closet and I'm going to show you 10 different styles that you can wear this summer to keep your hair under control. We're going to start with the most basic because I want to start with something easy that anybody can do. And that's the basic headband. This is a standard 21 inch by 21 inch scarf. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it into this triangle shape. And then we're going to roll it up from the bottom of the triangle up into the longer part. I'll do it up here so that you can see it easier. We're just going to roll it up into sort of a tube and make this shape. Okay, I'm going to leave some of my front hair out and I'm just going to tuck it under and I'm going to tie it under in the back. And this is the most standard thing you can do and it's so easy. Anybody can do that and that adds a little bit of style to your outfit. Now it doesn't exactly keep all of your hair under control, but it does add a little something and keeps the rest of it back. Now, I hardly ever do that because the whole point of me wearing a headscarf is usually to keep all of my hair off of all of my face. So let's do the next one. One of my favorite looks is the turban. Hmm. Let's do this lovely large black floral scarf, 36 by 36. And you're going to make it into a triangle like this and we're going to call this the long flat part on top. And you're going to put the long flat part at the base of your neck, all your hair up and over so that you can get right there on your neck. And then you're going to take the two longer parts that are hanging down and you're going to tie one simple knot like that. Now you can see I've got my hair hanging out of the top of the triangle, but what I'm going to do is take my hair and put it inside and flip my head back over. Here I am putting my hair inside the top of that triangle. Here's the point of the triangle, not the sides. These are the sides. Oh, this is a good look. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do is take one of these and the back of the triangle and kind of twist them together like this. And we're going to tie these two parts together now. Just one tie in any way, just a simple knot. Now we have one piece and we're going to twist this around so all the bits stay inside and we're going to tuck it under here. Now you need to do a little bit of shaping. Although, you know what, this is kind of cute. Okay, so what I mean by shaping is sometimes you have a point like that, which I don't know if you feel a little sassy. Sure, that's fine. But what I would do is try to shape this more into like hair on top of my head. I do like these little curly bits hanging down. Very nice. And I would call this the turban. And you can wear this with your hair completely up in it, which is a wonderful feeling to get all of your hair off of all of your face. Or you could bring some of your bits of your hair down, even if it's short like mine. And let's see what that looks like. This is pretty solid. This is staying up here very, very snugly. I wear this swimming all the time to keep my hair up and out of the water. So if you bring some of the front bits out, people can see that you have hair underneath. And I would probably style those so that they look nice, but this is a fine look for a summer when you're on vacation or it's the weekend and you're just feeling a little bit fun and fruity and sassy, which is how I feel all the time, even on weekdays. The turban is one of my favorite easy head scarfs, whether my hair is in or out. This is just so easy, so fun. And this would stay put for a very long time. A lot of people ask me, yes, but how does the headband stay on? Do you have to bobby pin it everywhere? Well, actually silk scarves have a texture. They're just the tiniest bit stretchy and grabby and they stay on way better than a cheaper material. And silk scarves don't have to be super expensive. But the material is important because it kind of it grabs onto your hair better and it will stay put better. Next look, maybe I want to grab my ponytail for this. Here I have my fake ponytail from my hair extensions video. Now I didn't style it. It's going to look a little bit 
uh, let's call it unstyled. I like to call it raccoony. It looks a little bit like a raccoon right now. But if I were going to go outside, I would style it. So what I'm going to do right now is just kind of pin this on the back of my head. <laughs> That's a funny look right now, but you'll see. You'll see what we're doing, okay? We're going to do a simple headband and under the ponytail look. Ooh, for this one, we're going to use my red scarf. 32 by 32 square. Flowers and butterflies. And we're going to take that bottom part of the triangle again and roll it up into the tube just like before. I'll do it right here. And I'm going to roll it about, I don't know, two inches, two inches or three inches wide, a little bit wider than the first headband look. That looks fine to me. And what I'm going to do is use this like a headband to tie under my ponytail. I'm going to get my hair to go back a little bit. Okay, now what I have is my short hair and my raccoon piece underneath that. And what I'm going to do is all I've done is run this under my hair. It's not tied at all, but maybe that's what I should do. I'm going to tie it once. And now I'm going to take these two pieces and wrap them around what's back here. I'm going to tie it one more time like this. Okay, I've got some bits hanging down here. I'm just going to arrange it. And now what I have here is a simple headband and ponytail look. I've got my fake hair blended in with my real hair. At least I think it's blended in. It's very hard for me to see through the camera. And I feel like this is a very pretty summer look. I could tie this bandana a little bit thinner so it doesn't look so thick. Now I'm going to tuck these pieces up here so it doesn't give away the fact that my hair is actually short. And I think that looks pretty cool. For someone who doesn't have much hair, it gives me another look that I can wear this summer. Keeps all of my hair under control and keeps it off my neck. That tie that we did underneath lifts your hair a little bit and keeps it off of your neck and feels great. Okay, next look. I think I'll keep my hair piece on back there. This time we're going to take that same headband, but instead of starting here, we're going to start behind. And now we have these pieces that need to tie up front. But guess what? We're not going to tie them. We're just going to go like this, and then we're going to switch directions, and we're going to go back. And that's when we're going to tie it. Tie that underneath. And that gives you this nice little decorative knot on top. And it still gives you this wonderful ponytail look, but you don't have any scarf hanging down. It just gives you a nice, neat headband that stays put and has a decorative knot. That's beautiful. Now, what I would do here is I would probably run a ponytail holder around everything in the back to make it look like it's all from the same place and that it's all mine. <laughs> wow, I probably should have curled that, but I think it's it's fine just to show you what I'm up to here. That's a pretty look. I love the knotted headband. Let's just enjoy this for a second. I'm enjoying this headband. Okay, now for something a bit different. Let's compare the textures of these. If you're a scarf person, you probably want to know this. Okay, so this scarf here has a shininess to it. It's very soft. It's very slippery. This is the kind of scarf that can very easily slip off your head. <laughs> and that's what I was talking about earlier, but it's still very fun and wonderful and luxurious, and we're going to find a way to wear it. And this scarf here is a little more sheer, but not completely. It's uh, got a rougher texture to it, and that's what really grabs onto your hair. And these work great for headscarves. For this look, we're going to go with satiny. And this is a rather large scarf because that is needed for this look. How big is this scarf? Let me show you. 36 by 36. We're going to do the triangle again, and we're going to take the long flat part again, and we're going to put this very low on the forehead. This is going to be like a summer in Italy kind of look. 
or pirate if I don't do it right. Okay, so you take these longer pieces and you pull them way back and give them a tie over the back of the scarf, like that. Okay, kind of like the way this looks with my little bob here. So now, don't let go of this because it's gonna get really confusing back there with that bottom part hanging. We're going to tie it up and over and we're gonna let all of that just simply hang down. And it looks better when you kind of let this be a little bit peaky back here rather than just like a circular helmet over your head. This is what it looks like in the back with hanging down and tied over. So give it a little space in the back so that you can have these little, these little points here because otherwise it looks like this. Just completely round helmet. <laughs> I think I, I like it better with a little bit of shape back there. I don't know if I feel like putting in these hair extensions, but maybe what you can do is you can imagine what it looks like with long hair if I just kind of drape my ponytail over here. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna stick it right in there. <laughs> okay, there you go. You can imagine what it looks like with long hair. Isn't that pretty? Ignore this side. Ignore the raccoon texture. There you go. Hmm, pretty, I like that. Okay, so that you have all this gorgeous fabric hanging down. And if you feel like this is going to slip off of your head, which it might, just stick a little bobby pin between your hair and your scarf right there. Let me do it. <laughs> so what you would do is make sure you get some hair in there and make sure it goes over your scarf and put it in a place where you don't really see it and don't poke a hole in your scarf like I almost did, and you just pin it in there, okay? One over there and one on the other side should keep it pretty well on your head, even in wind, even when you're driving down the PCH in your convertible or you're driving down the Riviera. Do you drive down the Riviera? I've never been there. I'm ready though, I'm ready to go right now. This is another great look for putting under a hat and that keeps the sweat off of your hat and touching your forehead. Oh, I hate in the summertime when you're sweating and wearing a hat and it gets real clammy and weird up there. But when you wear a scarf in between, it pads you from that clamminess and it's a, it's a much nicer feeling. And I think that it's very pretty too. You get all this extra color and decoration and I think it's gorgeous. Usually I would use a different scarf shape for under a hat because this is a lot of scarf. I was just kind of showing you that you could put a hat over this, but I would usually use a shape like this. It's very long. I'll show you in a minute. Settle down. So let's do the one where we're going to tie instead of over, we're going to tie under and we're going to just let the triangle really hang and show. Oh, here we are with a short haircut again. And here's my hair. It's a bobby pin to that scarf. Remember we did that. Maybe I'll put that back on after. After we try this other look. Okay, we're doing the big triangle again. The long flat part is going to go low on my forehead again. And you know what? This I should take a second to talk about this. The great thing about scarves is that when you, depending on how you fold them, you get a different scarf. And right now, I really want to go with this purple side, but if I fold it in the other direction, these are the, these are the colors we get. Ooh, that's pretty. And this one is very really similar, but um, gosh, I think I'm just going to go with this side because it's so pretty. Here we go. We have our triangle with the long flat part that's going to go low on my forehead. Like this. Okay. Now, this can get a little tricky to tie under your hair without the front slipping off. And I think it works better if you just give it a little bit of a fold. I think it stays put a little bit better. And now we're going to take these long parts and pull them underneath. Keep it pretty snug. And you're going to tie it once underneath everything, underneath your hair, underneath the triangle, under here. Okay? Now we have this look. <laughs> Of course, I'm going to adjust this. 
Okay, but you do want to keep it rather low, kind of covering your eyebrows. This is another thing where you want to make sure that it's kind of um, got some shape back here, okay? And this would not stay put. We only gave it one tie. Let's give it another tie. Now we're going to insert my, we're going to insert my hair here so that you can get a taste of what this would look like with longer hair. This is a ridiculous method, but it's working, don't you think? I think it's working. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh boy, I'm enjoying this too much. Okay, here we go. That's pretty, and this is good for sun protection, hair control, and sweat reduction, and just enjoying how beautiful your scarf is, because look how it hangs down in the back and it shows off every bit of it. This is definitely a vacation look, and it's very dramatic, and it's not for everyone. But, you know, it's something that you would see mostly, you would see this more in the 60s and 70s, and I think it's gorgeous. Maybe we could try this with a more subtle scarf. This is pretty bright and crazy. There goes my hair. Okay, we're back to my black floral scarf. That's a little more subtle. I think that you're going to see the difference in that brightly colored satin one and this more muted dark one. Okay, here we go. We have to flip it over. And remember, we're gonna give it a little bit of a fold. And now we're gonna take these long pieces. <laughs> See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You have to watch that. Okay, give it a little bit of a fold and keep it tight. Tie it under the triangle, tie it under the hair, like that. This one stays gripped so much better. I'm gonna tie it again, in and up. Okay, so now we have the scarf hanging down like that and it's much more subtle. Let's put the hair back in. Okay, there we go. I would wear this with a more subtle color. The other one's a bit flashy for me, but boy, is it fun. It depends on how flashy you are. I really like to be fun. I don't necessarily like to be flashy, but I like to be fun, and I think this is very fun. I wonder what would happen if I took my other hair piece here that's curly and tried that. Ooh, let's try it. <laughs> I'm just gonna clip it right in there. So I have this curly bun. We're just gonna, we're gonna see what that looks like on this side, okay? We're gonna stick it right in there. Okay, there's a different look for you. A little bit of curliness. <laughs> okay, so like I said, you wanna give it a little bit of shape back here, a little bit of a boxy shape to show off your scarf. And there you go with the curly, the curly hair. <laughs> Who am I? Who am I in this? Okay, first of all, this is a, this is a crazy look right here. <laughs> Let's just take a second. Let's take a second to enjoy the insanity of this look. I'm done enjoying it. I'm really done enjoying that. Okay. Let's see it with just the short hair. Just bring a little bit out. Mm, pretty. I like when the little pieces come forward. Okay, and then you want to have some vacation sunglasses to wear. Mm, how fabulous is this? I'm feeling very fabulous. I'm ready for my cruise and I'm ready for the Riviera, yet I never go to the beach, so I really don't believe me, but this is, uh, this is pretty fun. Oh, I would like to show you how this long scarf goes under a hat. If you haven't seen any of my other scarf videos, I think that's worth showing in this one. So you want to take a long, thin scarf. This doesn't need to be this long, okay? But this is how long it is in case you're curious. This is a 60 inch long scarf. That's very long, that's five feet. It's about 17 inches wide. It doesn't need to be this big. I just wanted to show you that it's a rectangle, okay? So I'm just gonna come somewhere toward the middle and put this over my head, get my hair under it, and I'm just gonna simply, very simply,
tie it underneath back there. And look, that gives you way less fabric because of the rectangular shape. There's way less fabric under here to deal with. Very easy to put a hat over. I don't know why I adore this look so much, but this is definitely how I spend my summer. Hey, let's do, let's do our vacation sunglasses too. I mean, why wouldn't this be your favorite look? This is so easy. You don't even have to think about your hair. It keeps it off of your neck and keeps your hat off of your forehead. Why wouldn't you do this? I don't like that question, but I keep asking it. Why do I keep asking that question like that? Why, why wouldn't you? So tired of myself sometimes. Ah, just a mess right now. When you have to watch yourself on camera, there's so much about yourself you get tired of. Get tired of yourself. I do have another very small scarf for you. This is probably another 21 inch. Actually, we're not gonna fold this like a tube. We're gonna let this be a triangle. This is a very cute little look. We're gonna allow this to just be itself. We're gonna allow some hair to stick out. Not a lot. Let some bangs happen here. And if I had more hair, it would be coming out of the back there. But I don't. Until I do. So here's my extra hair coming out of my scarf. <laughs> I'll just clip it in there for you, okay? And that's what it would look like with hair. Which I think is pretty. It's just a simple little triangle. <laughs> I'm so happy I bought this ponytail. It makes me happy every single time. I shouldn't be drinking coffee while I film. Oh well. Sometimes when you want to just get your hair up and out of the way, but you don't want to squash it, you want to keep it lifted and ready for later when you take it down. Uh, what you want is kind of like a turban that's open on top. There's no good name for this. I'll call it the hair lifter. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this very thin chiffon silk scarf that's actually very stretchy. The stretchiness is actually what holds onto your hair and it doesn't slide around. This is a wonderful scarf for tying hair. So let me show you what this would look like with my short hair. You're going to do this very similar to the turban look, but we're gonna keep the top open. This is like the convertible of turbans. Turban convertible. This is getting so stupid. Okay, let's do the triangle. We're going to do the flat part on the nape of my neck again. And you're going to take the long parts and tie them once in the front. You can scoot all your other hair up in there. Just once, just once. Now we have this. Let's take a closer look. Take all this hair, put it up inside what you have created here. Cannot see what's going on. Okay. So it works great on curly hair because the curly hair just goes right in there. This, this short wavy hair does not like to obey. So what we have here is hair inside of a triangle. It's tighter on the back of my head and I've got the two pieces in the front. I'm going to take this triangle part in the back and I'm just going to fold it down. I'm going to fold it down like that, but I'm going to keep it kind of high like that. So all of my hair is kind of sitting up here in this little holder, this little bowl I have created out of this scarf. This works so much better on longer, curlier hair, but I'm going to attempt to do this. Okay. All my hair is up in there and now I have this one knot here. <laughs> wow, my hair really doesn't want to do this. So now I just have this one up front and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck this one under and all the way around. I'm just going to tuck it under, tuck it in. And I have this nice little tie up front. I'm just going to tuck that under too. And I'm going to pull that back until my hair wants to stay in it. Let's pretend I have curly hair. Let's put on my curly hair bun. That'll do. That'll do. Oh, look, now I have curly hair. Wonderful. Okay. So what I'm trying to show you here is that it keeps your hair up and lifted 
into this bowl that you have created. And it keeps your hair up and out of the way for later when you want to take it down and have it have all this body because it's been sitting on your head all day. I do think this is a nice, neat look. Let's go for something dramatic. Okay, I'm ready. We're going to keep short hair for this one, but I want to do something very dramatic with a very big scarf. This is a huge scarf. How big is this huge scarf? 34 inches across. Wow, 70 inches. Okay, we're just gonna do something pretty wild here. We're just gonna fold it in half like that so it's just a little bit more controllable. Okay, now I'm going to take the part that has the two ends that are folded together, not the part that has the crease, and I'm going to put the two ends that are folded together at the nape of my neck. I'm going to take the whole scarf and tie it up front. And this is what you get. <laughs> this is not a look yet. Okay, I'm going to put that hair inside. Bye bye. I'm going to give this another tie up front to make a big kind of um, beautiful floral knot that I'm going to put off to the side a bit, like over there. I want this a little bit asymmetrical. And now to get rid of these, I am going to twist them and I'm going to tuck them underneath and all the way around. I'm going to twist this. Let's twist this one this way. I have done this so many times in a pinch when I'm in a windy place and I need to keep things under control. So what you want with this one is you want something a little decorative up front. You want a big kind of flower looking knot. This can easily get out of control with this amount of scarf. So, you know, you practice it a couple times. Don't expect it to go right the first time. And then one time you get it right by accident and then you start getting it right on purpose, you know, and then just shape it, just shape it to the shape you want. Like you can just tuck it in all over the place. You can create what you want for your head shape and what's flattering for you. For me, I just pretty much like anything that's going to keep my hair under control in windy conditions, like at the beach or hiking or just anything outdoors where I don't want my hair in my lipstick. I think that, you know, you do have to have a certain amount of moxie, a certain amount of sass or attitude to walk around with your hair tucked up in a giant headscarf like this. But I would almost guarantee you, if you did this, someone would say, I love that look. And they're saying that because they do honestly love it and they wish that they could do it. And you have now given them confidence to try it. So somebody's got to start the chain, right? Somebody's got to start the chain of confidence. And if that's me, let it be so. Suppose you want to cover up your hair for swimming, but you really just want it to be like a standard bathing cap. You don't want it to be all crazy and decorative and cute. You don't want to be cute. That's what I'm saying. So suppose you just want a standard hair cover. That's all right to want to be standard. Let's at least use a pretty collar. Let's bring this red one back out. Of course, make your triangle and put it right over your forehead. Like high on your forehead, like where your hairline is. And then you want to just capture all of your hair underneath. Don't tie it. Just bring it around. Just bring it around. Bring it up here and tie it again. And that's going to allow you to have a very cute little knot up here. And if you don't like that sticking out like that, of course, you can tuck it under. I like it to stick out a bit, but it depends on your attitude and your amount of decoration, what you like. Okay, so now I have this, but what I can do is I can just simply tuck it under the tied scarf in the back. And that makes a nice little bathing cap where it's going to cover your hair and it's going to look cute up here. Okay, suppose you don't like the little rabbit ear 
decoration. I'm just gonna assume that you don't. I do, but you know, just take them, pull them together, give them a little twist and tuck them under the portion of the scarf that you can reach right here where it's tied and just leave a little knot, okay? Now, I find this to be very boring, but what it does do is just keep yourself under control for um, any situation and not stand out too much. It might even be nice for you if you show a little bit of your hairline there. Okay, I would like to redo that in a way where we're not going to have to tuck in the back. Here we go. Okay, suppose I really want my hair up and out of the water. Really, the best thing to do is flip your head over and put this at the base of your neck. The base, the nape of your neck. Okay, don't tie it. Don't tie it. Just bring it across, okay? It's not tied. Now we're gonna tie it and we're gonna flip it back. Hair goes inside. This piece of the triangle twists and comes forward. Which way is up to you. And we're just gonna stick it right under the front part of where it touches your head. And this makes a cute little bathing cap that is so pretty because it's a beautiful silk scarf. You know, bathing caps are usually pretty ugly. I've seen some really cute ones lately because I like to swim with the 80 year olds and they actually take care with this kind of thing. They have flowers all over them. I love it. So this actually really stands out as uh, something pretty and unique. Oh, we can take this knot in the back and we can tuck that under too so it doesn't stick out. And then you can choose how high or low on your forehead you wear this. I generally like this right about here. It keeps all my hair right where I want it to be. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I enjoyed it way too much. And uh, enjoy your summer. Enjoy your hair-free face. <laughs> That's not nice. Enjoy your hair out of your face and enjoy your people and enjoy what you're doing because that's really what it's about. You don't want to be worrying about your hair and your face. You want to be enjoying your people and enjoying your life. If you liked this scarf video, I have other scarf videos for you and you can check one of them out right here. And hopefully I'll see you soon. Is this it? Is that all? I wish there were more.